you will recognize them by their fruits. Nothing comes from corn but corn. If we can see from your fruits, uh, uh, I've seen situations where leaders just go through a roundabout, the same problem, the same situation where you are the yesterday, that is where you are today and something like that. And when you check, maybe during your time, your people are suffering more than before you were there. I've seen situations where people count the number of battles they fought, but not how much victory they've been able to achieve. You can see, if you can lead your people to defeat after defeat after defeat, just like sometimes it happens in football and some other games, then there could be something wrong. Maybe you need to uh, 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 consider stepping aside or uh, you need to reconstitute your team, reconstitute, uh, you rethink your strategy because it you cannot uh, uh, continue having the same problem. You cannot continue leading people through the same troubles again and again and still expect uh, that uh, something good will come out of it. This one reminds me of a story I had some uh, years back of a, a cruise, a, a boat, a motorboat. Some people had gone to take a drink in some island. So when they went, it was dark at around 10 p.m. They cruised to that uh, particular island. And uh, after drinking, drinking, drinking up to around 4 a.m., it was time to leave so that they can be home in good time. And they got into the boat, turned it on, and they started moving. Uh, they, uh, the, the boat uh, had enough fuel, so it, it went on and on and on and on. And at around, they fell asleep because they were already on the right direction. At around seven, when light was coming in, they checked and they were at the same spot they realized that they'd not removed the anchor. Yeah, the, whatever stops the boat from being uh, carried away by the wind or uh, by any other movement. And that is the same thing that sometimes happens. We think we are moving because there is that engine, uh, that is uh, uh, the engine sound in our ears. There is some activity and we confuse this to be growth. And by the end of the day, we realize that after a long time of wastage of resources, we are at the same spot. You see, uh, reminds me of uh, another story I read in another book where uh, somebody, uh, some trader, passed some people, used to pass some people, they were plowing, using their ox plow, plowing there. And then he kept doing that kept doing that and growing. And later when he was mentoring some young people, he passed the same place and people was, those people were still plowing and he told uh, these young people, you see those people, the last 40 years, they've been plowing that place. Something is not right. So we must always check. This is where we, we, we need to be honest with ourselves, with our leadership, with our people and see whether we are making progress or we are not making progress at all. Our, as leaders, we set our own marking scheme. We can tell people or we can say for ourselves, by the time I'm leaving this place, by, the, by this, we set our own goals. By this, after this duration, I should have accomplished this much. Well, you may not have accomplished all of them, but at least it should be seen that there was some progress. In your marking scheme for politicians, they give us their marking scheme. We are going to do this, we are going to do this, we are going to do this. We should be able to see that it, it, they achieve, achieved exactly what they said, or at least some good percentage. That is convincing. But it's not just the same word, the same word, the same word, the same promises, and nothing seems to happen. Results are rewarded and results become the name of the game. Without results, there is no way we can be convinced. There is no way we can convince other people that we were there, we were doing our best. There should always be some result. For people who've been in the leadership for long and maybe in the country leadership, if you've been in some position, you should be able to look back and check, when I was there, what is it that I accomplished? What did I achieve? 
what, how did I make that place better? How are people today, now that I was there, are they feeling in If we can't see, then we've failed in that particular aspect. And it doesn't matter, matter whether these people in leadership are related to us or they are not related to us. By the end of the, the day, we only judge according to that which we can see, the results that we can relate with. So uh, if we don't have results, we have nothing to show. There is something I love saying that when you've passed somewhere as a leader, uh, you should be able to leave tracks. You should be able to leave trails that people can follow and they don't need to look for another way. At least where you are, that you are here, this is the way it's been. Success leaves tracks. And so if you are successful in your leadership position, you are going to leave people, you are going to leave a route, a, an easier way, a better way of solving a problem you are solving than before. I remember when we were in uh, the university leading a choir group, uh, at, uh, at some point we chose to have a, a group of all the leaders who were there before. before. And uh, uh, we called them, I actually started that and I called, the, I called it College of Directors, yes? So I did not want to reinvent the wheel because there were perennial problems that kept coming in. And one of the problems that we had was leadership for students was changing very quickly, every one year. And that one year, most of these people have gone out of college and the people coming in are relatively new. So we had these people who and they were not going to live far from Nairobi but we could always start from their experiences because they always leave some track. You see, if you don't have some track record, you do not have some, some uh, solutions that you brought in, something is uh, not right. Something is not right. Another thing with this track is uh, what I call consistency. You see, uh, we cannot evaluate you with respect to just what you're telling us. We should be, evaluate, we'll be able to evaluate you over time. We cannot sit in one sitting and then already we've known what type of person you are. We should be able to check the consistency of your language, behavior, what you do, and what other people say about you. The, that element of other people can sometimes be taken out of context because at some point and in present day, we have media that can... Uh, propagate propaganda. Yes, they can just create some, uh, some false, uh, uh, false statements and spread them. But that's not what we mean. If we are able to listen to you uh, again and again and again, we listened to you last time, we listened to you this time, and we can also see what you're doing. We should be able to see a correlation. But note that if we of you, that will not be very helpful uh, for anybody, for all of us. And so it's, it's good to check that consistency in speech. Again, consistency in commitment when we are checking our leaders. He was uh, the same person maybe you had as your leader three years ago, may not be the same person today because things change. People uh, go through other things and maybe there are new developments in them. But somebody who's been talking about the same thing, the same way, is consistent with his values, is consistent in his speech, is consistent in his activities. That is a leader of character. That is somebody who presented. There is no brokerage that happens. I've seen this more so in, in, in politics where somebody tells you, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Then the following day, you hear that, now I've realized that this is good. It is the other one which is bad. There's nothing like that. 
consistency in enthusiasm, the same passion that he's been working with, it is the same passion, it is not wavering. That consistency, we, we must be able to check it. Is he really committed? Or is somebody that is just selling us and uh, by the time he or she gets there, uh, the figure will be gone? Or uh, somebody who is already in leadership, is he committed? Is he committed as much as he was committed when he was uh, getting into this leadership? So we must learn that people, uh, people's energy wane, people's energy go down. And at some point you realize that they really are not the same uh, people. They really do not have the same enthusiasm, the same excitement that they had. And that will affect results. That will mean that there is no consistency in the results. And uh, 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 that should be able to inform us. Competence, character, and values. Uh, are they propagating the same values? You realize that some people will always change their values uh, depending on whom they are speaking with. They will be willing to bend their language to suit the people they are talking to at, part at any particular time because they want people to like them or they want to win their, their, uh, their heart. You see, and uh, in politics, they would say they want to win their votes. When they come uh, to you, maybe you are uh, settling in a land that should be reserved for roads, but they will come and say, this is your land, we will give you title deeds. But on the other hand, talking to other people saying, we are going to reclaim all the land, then you know this is somebody with double speech. There is no competence, there is no character there that can be trusted with the leadership. Uh, the, and by the end of the day, you can be sure that there is nothing much that would be produced as uh, a result of his or her leadership. Values should not change according to time, according to temperature. If somebody is of value, if somebody, for example, believes that abortion is wrong, it is wrong. It doesn't matter whether you are speaking before the military or you're speaking before uh, the pastor or you're speaking before uh, non-believers. That is just the way it is. So values, values will always display the type of person that a leader is. And, uh, and uh, that will also mean that the results will be consistent according to what uh, uh, we are hearing from them. You, you, you will be able to also check and uh, listen to how people uh, relate with other people, how they relate with other people. Um, if, if they cannot relate well with people, then you definitely know that there is no way they, he or she can lead people. Let's, let's, let's be uh, uh, aware that in building or in leading uh, people, you cannot do it alone. You must do it with other people. And if you are always fighting your people, if he's always not ready to blend with others, then there is no way he or she will be able to lead. And this is very key. There are people who believe their ideas are the best. Nobody else will be able to have a better idea. And they are not willing to listen to dissenting voices. I remember in another leadership position where I am, uh, I always had some few people who enjoyed the, uh, the opposition politics. And so I called them official opposition, you see. So every time I had some other decisions uh, to make after discussion, I would go and ask them, wait, uh, politician, what do you say about this? Because I don't play politics. But I go and ask, what do you say about this? How do you like this idea? And they give their own opinion and critique, critique, critique. You always need the, the views of other people. If you have a leader who will not listen to other people's views, there is a problem with that. 
and there is going to be definitely a problem with the results. It is said that the ear of the leader must ring with the voices of the people. Otherwise, he's not leading anybody. And that will be able to determine whether people are happy. We'll be able to know, to get the feedback from the people he or she is leading. He'll be able to tell whether he needs to do something differently, whether he needs to uh, 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 incorporate a new style or something like that. So a, a leader must be somebody who is able to build a, a good relationship with people. You should be able to check whether people are growing. You should be able to build leaders around you, the successors, the people who will carry out uh, the same, the same uh, uh, legacy that you've built. Because if you realize that a leader, all that you are doing will, will stop the moment you are out of that leadership position, that's not a good leader. And that is one way to know if a leader is not building other people who are capable to take his role, then there is going to be something wrong. We always need leaders who will be able to ensure that there is more uh, capacity around them. I remember at one point, again in college, I, when I, where I, I, again I was a chairman. I've always been somewhat a chairman. I don't know. I don't remember anywhere else I was not. So uh, we, I had been a chairman for that community for two years. And we were about to exit. So we, we had been trying to build capacity. It was, uh, uh, it, it had been a tough place to live because most people were yeah. were considering themselves pretty busy and not ready to pick up leadership. So we had to yeah. Please keep yourself mute. Nixon. Good. Uh, yeah. So I. Yeah. So I did what I we we called for a meeting at night to talk to people whom we expected to take up leadership and encourage them that we are going to be with them. And we had to agree as a team with these people and agree on how they are going to be elected. Yeah, this was uh, a, a bit of politics because we wanted it to flow smoothly and we had confidence in them. But we did not have a way of uh, going to uh, campaign or talk to other people and tell them. So we had to form a strategy, agree with them. We are you are going to be proposed as the chair, you are going to be proposed as the treasurer, as the ward, and so and so will propose you, so and so will second, some, then this one will talk about you to the rest of the people. And then when people are asked to raise up their hands, all of us leaders will raise up our hands. And then because we will raise up our hands, the rest of the people will raise up their hands. And that's the way it's going to be. And it worked. Yeah. Because as a leader, a leader should be able to prepare uh, for the, uh, to keep the successes that have been achieved. And that can only happen when they build leadership. Are people empowered or people are emaciated? I've, I've seen scenarios where a leader comes to see people, but it's the leader who looks healthy. All the other people are looking hungry, dilapidated. They look desperate. And these are the people they like leading because these are the people who keep asking them perhaps for handouts, for uh, help. And so they gauge their leadership based on how much handout they can give, which does not help. We need to be able to empower people to be able to take care of themselves so that they don't need us. And those people will still be loyal to us. They will still be able to remember what we did for them. So it's good to ensure that we have a people who are happy, people who are growing, and that leader who is able to build success around him or her will always uh, lead people to the right uh, direction, will always take people to Canaan, if it exists in, 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 in science, 
in in maths we used to say if it exists in the university now there is this uh, what is in it for me we've seen leaders and you and i have both seen these leaders who are attracted by the perks of leadership they want to be there because of the salary leadership is not a job in fact in many cases leadership is very thankless it's a sacrifice it's a, a where most times you will be the one spending more than even what you are getting if you are getting anything at all and if we have people who are only attracted to uh, the recognition that will come in and all the other beautiful things then we do, do not have leaders then it's it's upon us to be able to evaluate uh, what is this type of leader yes is it somebody who keeps thinking about what is in it for me and that's why when things come uh, they will ensure that they themselves the other day i read somewhere that our politicians are so good uh, at this when there are opportunities they know their close relatives and uh, family members to uh, push for it but when it comes to throwing stones and fighting they know other people's children now that is this type of leader there is a lot of selfishness if you realize that you are that type of leader who is always thinking about himself first something is terribly wrong i remember watching in uh, Titanic uh, video. Uh, I, I, it's a video I loved and I watched a number of times. Uh, that video had uh, the president of that, which I think it was for that nation or whatever. He was the leader there, the chief leader. When people were perishing, uh, Titanic was uh, going down. He had to ensure that everyone is out first. He was not the first to jump into the life uh, lifeboats or to pick the life jackets. He kept going into door after door, every room, sometimes down the deck, finding some people sleeping and waking them up and pushing them to go out. And by the end of the day, he perished in there because he had to ensure that everyone else is out. But the type of leadership that we have today, if there is anything that is going to happen, it is the people who will protect them. They don't protect the people. They will escape and leave people there suffering. They will uh, get the shortest route, the quickest escape and leave the others. But when it comes to anything else, I've seen people, uh, lead, leaders sitting in front, the other people uh, eating what, uh, what is provided, the rest of the people may be taking water or having nothing. They're the people who are covered by umbrellas. They're the people who are protected and everything else they love the big vehicles and all the other people are suffering i know to some people what i'm saying is not practical but a true leader will go through the same channel that other people are going through i was taught that if you're a leader you will always lead by example you will demonstrate that leadership you will walk with them if it is well. right now or during campaigns you see that when people are campaigning where when they find people hunting probably they'll hunt with them when they find them fishing they will fish with them but later they don't want to do such things they must be recognized they must be seen in the podium but the rest of the people are left there they are the people being led a friend of mine said uh, that is the ruling class they become rulers not leaders they are given everything they are protected the rest of the people are left to suffer. They are not the people who want to sacrifice for other people. They are there for their own interest, not for your interest. That's the same reason most entities don't do well. Whether it's an NGO, you realize that the directors are just uh, enriching themselves. They will write proposals to get money to fund a particular project. They use pictures of poor people, present, and then, then by the end of the day, they're the people who collect this money. I've seen and I've heard about this in many, many uh, organizations. And this does not help. By the end of the day, it will not make us happy. It will not make you happy as a leader. When you look back and check, what is it? It is not what did I achieve as an individual when I was in that position, but what did I do for the people that are there? You see, 
And we've seen people after being elected a few years now, he's got these big vehicles, he's got this new home, all this. But the people there don't even have anything. I see it much of the times when I go back home. Uh, some people are in the office. They draw salaries every month because they work in the water ministry. But people are thirsty. There is no water being supplied. Then you wonder, then what the heck are you doing there? Why are you there? Is it the salary? Is it just a job? It's not like that. And in conclusion, uh, I want to say that leadership is, uh, uh, is uh, about me. Yeah? If it is to be, it starts with me and you. We are the people who are going to make that decision whether we have uh, uh, the right leader or we don't have the right leader. And if I am the leader, it's about me. Uh, how can I make life better? Change begins with me. Change begins with you. All of us, as we've said, we are all leaders at every particular uh, point uh, in time where we are in whichever organization in the, our families. The question is, what difference are we making in order to make the world a better, a better place to live in? We've always believed that it is the responsibility of others and not our responsibility. But it is our responsibility. The little knowledge that me and you have, if we continue to share it with the other people, then we end up having an environment which is safe for us, safe for our children, safe for our society, and everyone is able to thrive, everyone is able to grow, everyone is able to live the life of their dreams. And by the end of the day, we'll be very proud of what we've been able to do. Otherwise, uh, thank you very much. Uh, that is the end of this discussion. I'll be ready to answer questions. We always provide training, so when you have some training uh, needs, you can always get in touch with us, team building, uh, and uh, even consultations on business. Yes? So it's, it's, it's a question time. Uh, there is another poll that I have, the last poll. Uh, I have to draw, okay, okay, somebody there was talking to me. Uh huh. Uh, close. 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 So this is an, this is another. I I have a, a, a small poll. It's just two three questions. Is there anybody with a question? Anybody with a question, a comment, or a contribution? Let's Hello? continue to respond to them. Yes. Hello. Speak. Yes, Hi, I'm how getting are you. you. Good, how yeah. are you doing? Not bad. Yeah, yeah I'm getting I'm not... Yeah, I'd like to say thank you very much. The very good yes. presentation, and I uh, really appreciate the, the things you have shared. And it is so clear yes. that uh, we, we really need to improve our leadership skills and it's very clear that we're being led by people who have no clue what they're doing. So, and, yeah, thank you. but leadership starts with me and uh, yes. with my family and wherever I am, it starts with me. And uh, yes. yeah, one thing I'm, I'm thank trying you. to work on is my emotional intelligence. I am very interested in personal development. Yeah. So oh, I've realized that, uh, like you said, teamwork and working with people is the most important thing. Ability to to read other people's emotions and understand my own emotions. Because yes, yes. Uh, IQ doesn't always translate to EQ, and yet EQ, emotional intelligence, is the most important for success in life. Yes, yes. That has been one yeah. of my pain, paid, very painful lessons, but uh, personal development is what I'm working on, and I always try to improve myself. So a leader accepts that their, their shortcomings and uh, tries to work on them by doing personal development and trying to improve, work on their weaknesses. Yeah. Exactly. So I really appreciate 
Yeah, thank you so much. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Any other comment? Any other comment? Uh, we are almost at the top of the hour.